Plumbing typical. Whilst I was filming, the neighbourhood was noisy, and now that I've finished, it's nice and quiet. Good afternoon guys, how are you all doing? It is now just gone half past 12. This morning I've been filming. I've done a Smeg Chris video, which took some doing because it was noisy in the neighborhood. Somebody was hammering, then somebody was sewing, probably the same person. I could hear dogs barking, cars and vans up and down the road, and they weren't quiet. I thought one car was actually a motorbike. Must have had one of those souped up engines. And I also filmed a random thoughts video, finally. I have no idea what I said in the video. <laughs> Guess I'll find out when I get around to editing it. And I've also had my dinner, I had some soup, and I'm about to go out because I'm meeting somebody. Don't worry, we'll keep our distance from each other. And I was going to take him, but right now I think my phone, let me just sit, double check. I believe my phone says it's 22 degrees out there. Yeah. Well, this one's saying 18 and cloudy. What clouds? Thing is, my phone has two weather apps, so let's see what the other one says. The other one's saying 22 degrees. Mm. And I'm going to roll the valley. There's not much shade there, so I'm not taking Harley. It'll end up getting burnt. We don't want that. And besides, look at him, he's just laid there. <laughs> Ram uh, doing something with him later. He doesn't know yet. I'm keeping that as a su surprise. Oh, by the way, yesterday, I didn't vlog it because it was late on, it was about, yeah, well, it was it was five o'clock in the afternoon when I finally went up to Tony Entrin's new bungalow. It's very nice, two bedroom, reasonably sized garden that Yanto absolutely loves. And they literally live right next to the woods. I'm very, very jealous of that. <laughs> so me and Tony went for a walk with the dogs around. I'm sure at some point I'll show you guys. But like I said, I'd not done much all day. What had I done? I was going to film Smeg Chris yesterday, but it was really bad with the noise around. Them next door, they, they had their hedge trimmed with a chainsaw. So that was a racket. <laughs> but I thought, seeing as I'm going out today, I will vlog. Anyway, it's now coming up to 20 to 1. Better start getting ready and go to Roller Valley. Harley wasn't happy that I left him behind. Here it is really really hot and sunny he would not get around rother valley and i only just managed to get into the car park look at how crazy it is right now these cars park all the way up this road i know because i went up there and i thought you know what i'm going to try the car park and just as i got in somebody was coming out i was like yes and the fact that i'm stood here waiting i'm sure you know who i'm waiting for my cousin kate she's just uh, texted me saying that she'll be about two minutes so Knowing her, it'll be five. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be crazy busy. I'll find out when Kate gets here. Well, I wasn't wrong. She's here finally. Hey. <laughs> it, it wasn't five minutes, it was six. Five. Five. Oh, we're going to get run over. It feels like we're at the seaside. Hello. Yes, uh, we've noticed, well, I've noticed so many people going down into the Royal Valley itself. Most of them just like closer than two meters to each other. I thought, oh. and Kate suggested we go for a different walk. Yes. So she's taking me this way. I feel like I'm going to the garage. <laughs> we will turn off in a bit. Right. Yeah, I spent a lot of time at the garage last year. I'm definitely not doing it this year. And she's upset that I've not brought Harley. <laughs> you could always come back to mine and go see him. Let's see where Kate is going to take me. Okay, so I've been on a different trail to normal, this one. And now we're going under this bridge. I've got a feeling I know where we're coming out to. I bet this is taking us to that new trail where that new bridge is, right? Ah, yes, I'm right, because I've always wondered where this went, this path. Now I know. Yeah. We're going down that way? Yeah. That's another one I've not I been know. on. Yeah, normally, well, I have been that way. And I've taken the vlog that way before. Never gone this way though. 
this should be interesting. <laughs> I've definitely not been this way. Crossing over this river, it's very beautiful around here. Definitely not been here. We were following the rail track and then all of a sudden that disappeared and then there was a river and all of these trees. We're going to go under a really cool bridge in a minute. Are we? Yeah. The thing is, if I knew we were going to go this way, I'd have brought Harley. I know. <laughs> There's plenty of shade and very little traffic. I've hardly seen anybody. It's been great. If we'd have gone around Robber Valley, they'd have been crazy. Been What's making that noise? There's a bird up there somewhere. <laughs> no, it's very noisy though. So we've just walked up this way and crossed the bridge. And, and yep, now we're walking back. Look how beautiful these trees are. And I've not been taking any photos at all. Oh, better be careful where I'm stepping. <laughs> End up tripping over them. Look at how pretty it is. I'm just taking a picture of it. What? Three kilometres. Three kilometres? I've not been checking. I'm not really that bothered. I'll just walk. <laughs> so you said we were just about to go under a bridge or something? No, it's here. Oh yeah, I think I see it. I'm definitely going to have to bring Harley this way sometime. Maybe the next time I see you, which is what, four months, five months from now, like usual? No. <laughs> Hold on a minute. I know this area. I have been here. Have you? On a run. Oh. When I was with the run club. Because this takes you up a big hill, doesn't it? It can do, you can do. It's a low bridge, isn't it? Right, I've never been on that side where we've just been, but I must definitely have this way. So, I must have come from the other trail, from down that way. I've definitely been this way. I remember this bridge very clearly. Did we not already go past it? Oh no, we came from over there. Yeah. But I've definitely been through this bridge. Numerous times. I'm talking years ago when I ran with the run club. It was definitely over 10 years ago. Oh wow. Yeah. A long time ago. Very long time ago. Look at this. Gotta get another picture. Yeah, I remember we ducked going under here. Not that I need to. I'm tiny. <laughs> Bet you've had to duck though, haven't you? <laughs> wow. Harley would be trying to get down into that water right now. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's loving it there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the run would take us up there and that's back up to the main trail that takes you to Rover Valley here. Yeah. Ah. So I do know this way. Huh. Okay, maybe at this point Harley wouldn't be happy being in the sun. <laughs> yeah, it looks a bit open. It is a good thing I've left him at home. And we've come full circle. Back on this trail here went all the way that way and back again I thought we were actually going to go back up there where them metal statues are that I've shown on the previous vlog what did you say we were going back on that other trail again all right I was right I'm definitely glad I didn't bring Harley because that entire field there was no shade at all it had been gasping for air water probably wanted picking up <sighs> swam. yeah he could have swam the river right there yeah the river rover I like crossing this bridge some uh, nice scenery I've seen this before it's pretty yeah. and a bench that's new I've not seen that before at least I think it's new Knowing me, it's probably been there for about four or five minutes. Yeah. And I've just not noticed. We could always uh, go back on the trail again and go round again. <laughs> Judging from that face, I'd say no. Oh, I'm hot. I'm bothered now. Back at the car. Kate's already gone. Forgot to have a say bye to the camera, but oh well. I'm sure I'll see her again, hopefully soon. 
It's just turned five past three. I'm very, very thirsty. So I'm gonna go home now. Oh, now that I've had a rest and I've walked partly up to the field, I now need to get his stuff together. He doesn't know, but I'm dropping him off at John Pete's in a bit. Because Joe rang me up earlier on asking if they could have him for a few days. Naturally, I said yes. <laughs> so I've come up to get some food for him, his dishes, his rucksack, and then I'm going to take him across. So I've just taken him up to the field, like I said, and straight away he's hot and bothered, panting away. So I'm really glad I didn't take him with me on that walk with my cousin. I'd have ended up having to carry him. I know that for a fact. And then I'd have been all hot and bothered. <laughs> Right, so I need to find what food to take him, maybe a few of his toys, and then set off to Joe and Pete's. I'm round at Joe and Pete's, enjoying a strawberry and watermelon drink. I'm getting burnt. <laughs> I can feel it on my arm. <laughs> and I've uh, stolen this mop to keep Archie more than two metres away from me. He's uh, getting a bit close and I keep saying to him no two meters back and he just kept getting closer so see if it works Archie want you <laughs> what are you wearing oh, I've got this to keep you more than two meters away from me <laughs> Is it? let's see if it works try and get close no, <laughs> it is working already. Not coming near. There we go. There, uh, keep it two, more than two meters away. Of course, if it doesn't work properly, what I can do is, I always got a bowl of water there and I could just dip that in and then get him with a wet mop. <laughs> I have to say, that walk has worn me out a little. I think we've done about four miles, maybe. I don't know. Oh, Joe's here as well. Hi. We're better off sitting at the top because oh, it's, uh, right, okay. it's more comfortable actually. Well, I'm going to take my mop with me. <laughs> yep. We'll sit on here. Uh, you stay in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, trouble's here. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Trying to get rid of you. Uh, uh. <sighs> this is a life sitting in the sun. Oh, I'll take that off. I'm gonna sit here with it's my like drink. Jason said, yeah, Lee, Lee can get all the get bits my feet like up that and have a bit of a rest before I go home. Oh, water. I have no idea why I'm so thirsty. I can't be anything to do with. Um, <clears throat> can you see this? Um, I think I got a bit of the sun. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. So as soon as I got home, water. I was also thinking maybe beer. Funnily enough, you know, since I finished work last Friday, I think I've had one bottle of beer. And that's it, since. No word of a lie. I can show you. I can prove it to you. Look, all those beers that I showed the other day, they're still there. Not touched any of them. I might have one or two tonight. Uh, I'm gonna sign off now, because I need to have a shower. And I've got a feeling I'm gonna need to have a cooler shower than normal. It's not affecting me yet, but Joe pointed out that the sun's got me. And I'm like, what? Where? <laughs> and now I'm rambling. Definitely gonna go now. All that's left for me to say is thank you for watching and subscribing if you have, and liking this video if you did. Until the next time, peace out. Oh yeah, I've just remembered that Kay gave me some belated birthday presents, and I've yet to show you guys. First are some of these chocolates. They're not gonna last very long. And also, this bottle of whiskey. I don't think that's going to last long either. <laughs>